close your eyes, watch your breath coming in, watch your breath going out. You've got to train your mind to stay right here, because otherwise it's going to stay with the breath for a few minutes and then go off someplace else. So you have the sense that it's about to leave the breath, just remind yourself, this is where you really want to be right here, right now. You've got to train the breath, so it, train the mind so that it's more mindful, more alert. Because all the goodness in life has to come out of the mind. And if the mind is untrained, it's not going to give much goodness at all. Otherwise, it's, if you don't train it well, it's like handing the keys to your car over to a crazy person. The crazy person can take the car and who knows where he's going to drive it. Off the road, into a tree, into other people, into people's houses. Because he hasn't been trained. He's not under control. You've got to bring the mind under control. And what's going to control the mind? You've got these two things. You've got mindfulness, which reminds you all the time of what you need to be doing. And alertness is what checks to see if you're really doing it right. These are combined with ardency, which is the effort to really do what you know is the right thing. These three qualities have to come together to train the mind. So you're, you're mindful of the breath, remind yourself to stay here, you're alert to make sure you're with each breath as it comes in, each breath as it goes out, and you're ardent to really try to stick with this. Once you train the mind here, then you can take that trained mind, you can apply it to all sorts of good things throughout life. So it's not just something that you do when you want to rest a bit or you want to get the mind quiet a bit. But these are basic skills you need as you go through life. This is the season where everyone's talking about peace on earth and goodwill. Well, it has to come from a trained mind. You see what the untrained mind does. You look at the history of the human race, it just wars all over the place. Not much goodwill at all, not much peace. Everybody's sitting waiting for some special person to come down out of the sky and say, okay, now's the time for peace and goodwill. It's never going to happen. It has to come from within your own heart. If you wait for other people to do it first, then it's never going to happen either. So you have to start and say, okay, I'm going to train my heart now, and then I'm going to look at the way I live with other people. In what way is, am I destroying their peace? With my, what way am I destroying my own peace? What way am I showing goodwill for them? What, am I, what way am I showing goodwill for myself? This is what you do with a trained mind, is you try to put it to a good use throughout the day, throughout your, the week, throughout the month, and the year. If you want peace in your life, it has to start right here. If you want goodwill in your life, you have to start with goodwill. Other people, they'll notice your goodwill, and then they'll respond in kind. So try to make your mind peaceful. Even if they don't respond, you just keep on being peaceful, keep on extending goodwill. Because you know that it's got to start here. And what is right here? That Right here is the mind. Right here is a mind that needs to be trained. So keep this in mind all the time, that you just can't give in to your impulses, you can't give in to your urges. You've got to keep things in check. So the life you build for yourself through your thoughts and your words and deeds is the, is the kind of life that you really want, a kind of life where there really is goodwill, there really is peace among people. Because you create the causes for goodwill and peace right here. You create a sense of goodwill, staying with excuse me, a sense of well-being, staying with the breath. And then you can, when you're feeling comfortable with the breath, again, it's a lot easier to wish for other people to be happy too. When the mind can settle down and be peaceful with itself, it's a lot easier to be peaceful with other people as well. So you've got to start right here.